Here's how to make some smoky ham and cheese sliders. Slice a 12 pack of Hawaiian rolls in half and place it into the bottom of a foil pan. Layer on a half of a pound of ham and Swiss cheese and then go ahead and put the top bun right back on top. In a small bowl, add in four tablespoons of melted butter, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, a teaspoon of Worcestershire, and some salt and pepper. Mix that together and use a basting brush to put that all over the top of these rolls. Make sure to get the sides and all over the top. Place that in a 350 degree smoker for about 20 minutes. Come back inside and baste the tops with one more tablespoon of melted butter. Sprinkle on some onion flakes and some dried parsley. Pop that on a cutting board. Slice into the 12 individual sandwiches. And for breakfast this morning, I'm going to attempt to make the TikTok viral egg sandwich. Let's get started. Start out by adding about a tablespoon of butter into the skillet. Now you're going to pour in three scrambled eggs. You're going to need two slices of bread and you're going to dip it and flip it. And then the same on the other side, dip and flip. Now let this cook until the egg sets. Now that the egg is set, we're gonna flip this over like so. Add some cheese and some lunch meat. Now fold in the extra egg on the sides to the top of your sandwich and flip the bread on top of the other slice. Now just let it toast up for another minute or two and you will have a fabulous breakfast sandwich. Oh my gosh, yum. Hey y'all, today I am showing you how to make bacon wrapped armadillo eggs. Remove the seeds and stems from six large jalapenos. Combine eight ounces of cream cheese, four ounces of cheddar cheese, and two tablespoons of your favorite rub together. Stuff the jalapenos full of your cheese mixture. Wrap each jalapeno with ground pork. Here they are wrapped in the pork. Wrap each one with two slices of bacon. All right, they're in the smoker at 250 on the top rack for about two hours. Ooh, the armadillo eggs are just about done. After two hours of being in the smoker and it's reached an internal temperature of 165 degrees, you're gonna wanna baste them with a little bit of barbecue sauce and let them cook for a couple more minutes and then they'll be done. Don't they look incredible? Oh my gosh, yum. Hey y'all, today I'm going to be showing you how to make quick and easy fish tacos featuring Hellman's drizzle sauces. Let's do it. Pat your fish dry. Season your fish well. I like to use blackening seasoning. Add some avocado oil to a hot skillet. Now sear your fish. Lightly toast your tortillas in a skillet. Time to assemble our taco. First the tortilla, shredded cabbage. Add your fish. And now drizzle with your Hellman's cilantro lime drizzle sauce. And top with a little cilantro. Ooh, now it's time to dig in. Cheers. So darn good, y'all.